2012 decision of the Victorian Supreme Court, Chikuya and Yahoo, found Yahoo liable for publication of defamatory material by its automated search process. In this case, despite the defamatory material originally being published by another person, the court held Yahoo was liable as a publisher because they had failed to remove it from their search results. While the issue of publication was contentious initially, Yahoo admitted to publication at the trial, which only left the nature and extent of the harm suffered as a result to be decided by Justice K. Mr. Chikuya was a Yugoslavian music promoter of high repute in both his industry and ethnic community. A story was published on a website called Melbourne Crime detailing an apparent attempt on Mr. Chikuya's life by a hired assassin. Beneath the title were photographs of nine men who were known criminals in Melbourne, together with a photo of Mr. Chikuya. Mr. Chikuya alleged that the article carried the following imputations. He is a criminal. He was so involved with crime in Melbourne that his rivals had hired a hitman to murder him, and he is such a significant figure in the Melbourne criminal underworld that events involving him are recorded on a website which chronicles crime in Melbourne. Mr. Chikuya alleged that Yahoo was liable because the article appeared in the Yahoo results page upon a search of his name. A letter was sent by Mr. Chikuya's solicitors to Yahoo requesting that the material be removed immediately. Yahoo denied responsibility for publication initially as the material appeared on the Yahoo search engine as a result of being linked through an entirely automated algorithmic search. But at the trial, Yahoo conceded that they had published the article after two witnesses gave evidence that they had downloaded and read the article using the defendant's internet search service. To prove publication, Mr. Chikuya was required to prove that the article had been downloaded and read by at least one other person using the Yahoo search engine, so Yahoo conceded on that point. Instead, Yahoo's argument was that the article did not convey the imputations. The jury found that the article, in its natural and ordinary meaning, as well as by a true innuendo, bore the imputations that Mr. Chikuya was heavily involved in Melbourne crime and was a significant figure in the underworld. The question of damages was then considered. Yahoo argued that, unlike print or live media, the article would only have been read by people who wanted to know specifically about Mr. Chikuya, and not by the world at large. Justice Kay agreed with this proposition on the basis that to Google has become a common method of learning about people of repute. Justice Kay found that Yahoo's failure to remove the material once requested further increased the damage to Mr. Chikuya in a way that caused more injury than live or print media. His Honour was convinced that because the material was accessible through the Yahoo search engine for such a lengthy period of time, this served to increase the damage to Mr. Chikuya's reputation. This was because it was open to persons who heard about the publication to view it for themselves and to confirm the contents and effect of it. By formulating his judgment in this way, Justice K sought to impose the responsibility on Yahoo to monitor content that he believed Yahoo had the power to control. His Honour concluded that Mr. Chikuya was entitled to an award of $225,000, citing Mr. Chikuya's widespread reputation, the considerable damage caused, the significant distress and hurt suffered, and the seriousness of the imputations as guiding considerations. The decision is an example of just how much responsibility is placed upon intermediary search engines by the courts for defamatory material appearing online. The position of search engines in these cases is very finely balanced, and many search engines now recognise the need to properly respond to requests to take down defamatory material. However, such a process is not always completely effective at saving search engines from liability, as publication to at least one other person often occurs more quickly than the search engine can respond to the takedown request.